Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So in Playwright video today, we are going to talk about how to take the screenshot. So in Playwright, it supports different types of screenshot you can take. You can take the screenshot of the entire page. You can take the screenshot of the specific section also. You can take the screenshot of a specific web element also. For example, let's say I want to just take the screenshot of this particular image. You can take that. I want to take the screenshot of this entire section that also I can take it. And I want to take the screenshot for the entire full screen. Also, you can do that. You don't need to use any third party library like a shot or something like that. You don't need to do that. Playwright having the native features of taking the screenshot of the full screen, full screen page as well. Let's see how to do that. So this is my official application, Naveen Automation Labs open card. You can use it for your practice point of view also. And then we are going to launch this application over here with the Playwright. And then what you just need to do that we have only one method that is called page dot uh, see this screenshot method which is actually overloaded method so we are going to use the screenshot with uh, screenshot options here so how to pass the options what you just need to do you simply write new and uh, whatever the page class that you have dot a screenshot options method is available can you see that so page dot a screenshot options and then what are the different options that you want to use that so first of all that I'm going to use the option is that set path. It means I want to store the screenshot in a specific uh, location somewhere in my project, somewhere in my C drive or D drive. So you can give the path over here. How to give the path? To give the path again you have to use paths dot and then see this is actually coming from the Java Neo package. We are not using any IO package. We are using the Neo package and then here you have to give the path over here. The path if you really want to give any C drive or D drive that also you can do that. And directly if you're giving the file name over here, for example, let's say this is my uh, uh, screenshot page dot PNG file or JPG file that also you can take it. So you can simply write the name of this particular file dot JPG or dot PNG and this dot PNG file will be stored in your project over here directly under this particular project directory. So we will see that the uh, screenshot is coming over here or not. Okay, so this is the path that you have to give. You can give the C drive, D drive also like this also you can do that. And then after that, what type of a screenshot that you want. So in that case, I'll say, okay, fine dot set full page. I want to take the screenshot. Then it's asking that, okay, you want to take a full page. Then you have to pass a true value over here as a Boolean. And that's it. So if you see this line in the new line screenshot, after that, you have to set the path. After that, you have to set the a full screen full page path so let's see it's actually taking the screenshot or not so i'm going to run this and uh, that's it so let's see it is working or not so here you can see on the console yeah <clears throat> the browser is actually launched you can see that and then it will take the entire page screenshot or not let's see so what i'll do i'll just refresh this particular project and uh, let's go to refresh and here you can see screenshot page.png file got created. You can just directly open that from here. And here you can see the complete screenshot from top to bottom. You can see that here, right? The footer also coming. And if you notice one thing, when you started the application, when you started the browser, it was actually showing up to here only. It was not showing from top to bottom. It was the first view. It's that only. <clears throat> so ideally it should take the screenshot, whatever it's a current view, right? So, but in that case, if you are asking with the full screenshot, I mean the full page screenshot, make it true, then it will automatically take the entire page screenshot. You can try on some uh, long page application like amazon.com or something like this. You can do that. Let's try with Amazon also. So I'll do one thing. I'm just going to write amazon.com. Let's see it's taking the screenshot there or not. So I'm just going to do one thing. Run as once again Java application. And then the same file will be generated. It will overwrite the previous one and see I'm not scrolling down up to the bottom of the page and you can see this is the amazon.com and then let's see how exactly the screenshot got generated or not. So I'll just open this PNG file once again. Let me just uh, refresh it now. You can see that the complete page screenshot is coming. That's so amazing, right? So this feature was actually missing in Selenium. You have to use external libraries like a shot or something, but this is a native feature provided by Playwright. You can take the full screenshot from top to bottom. You can take that. Now the second thing is that let's see, uh, go back to this or the same application. If I'm making it false, then how exactly is going to take the screenshot? 
So let's see, I'm making it false now. And then I'm saying a screenshot. Uh, let's see, this is a screenshot and this is screenshot.png. Let's see in that case, how exactly it's taking the screenshot. So I'm making it false for the full page. It means don't take the full page screenshot. Let's see in that case, how exactly it is working. Okay, so I think it's done. What you do, you just simply refresh the project once again. So it will create two PNG files. You can see one is for the uh, screenshot page dot PNG. That is for the full page. You can see that full page is coming. And another one is the screenshot dot PNG. That is only for the current view, which is visible to the visible on the page. You can see that is the current view, which is visible on the page. So exactly same as screenshot taken over here. So that's why if you don't want to take the full page, you can just make it false over here. So that is a between difference between true and false flag with respect to set full page. Okay. Now, what about the specific element that I want to inspect and then I want to take the screenshot of that. So in that case also, you can do that. So for example, let's see, <clears throat> I want to just to take the screenshot of this particular image that also you can do this. This is so nice. Go to inspect and uh, see, this is the IMG tag is available. So I can quickly create a simple CSS where IMG title equal to MacBook. Right. So I'm going to create a, a locator over here. So let's see how to create that with the same thing page dot. So first you have to create the locator and the locator name that I'm going to use simple. Let's see. This is IMG tag where uh, what is that? The title is equal to MacBook, right? So this is a CSS selector that I'm going to write title is equal to MacBook. And this is the locator that that we have created. Okay. And then you can directly apply dot a screenshot over here. See this again, this method is coming and then you can supply the screenshot options over here. So let's see what are the different options are available. So you simply write a screenshot and then you write new uh, screenshot options. See, this is a screenshot option that you can use it dot. So see this earlier, we were using page dot screen options, a screenshot options, but here we are not talking about only page. We are talking about the specific to the element. So in that case, you have to use a screenshot method directly along with the screenshot options. You have to use that. You don't need to write a page dot screenshot options. That's the only difference. You just need to understand that. Okay. So what are different screenshot options? So first we need to import that. So let's import this. And then after that dot, uh, you have to use set path over here. So see the set path and what is the specific file name or the path that also you can give that. How to pass that exactly same thing paths dot get that you have to use. So I'm going to write paths dot get and whatever the file name that you want to give or any specific uh, path that you want to give C drive or D drive. Let's say I'm going to give the direct path over here. So let's say this is my laptop dot PNG file. That's it. So again, I'm writing in the new line so that you will see it properly. Okay, so let's see this is taking laptop.png or not for the MacBook image which is available on that application. Okay, so it got started. First, take the full screenshot and everything and then take the specific element. Let's see it is actually working or not. So let's uh, refresh this project once again. You have to refresh it in order to get the PNG file. And then you can just directly open in your Eclipse. If it is not getting open in Eclipse, you can just directly go to the directory and then open that from there also. So here you can see that see the laptop.png file is available only for that specific image. Right. So this is also you can do that. Now what about the specific area if you really want to take the screenshot that also we can do it. For example, let's say I want to take the screenshot for this entire thing. Entire thing means this is what I'm talking about. See, I'm just going to do with this guy. Uh, just this not div. This particular div. Can you see this particular div? It is only for this four sections are available, right? MacBook, iPhone, Apple Cinema, Canon, only this one, <clears throat> only for this particular div. So how to do this? So in this case, what we can do is uh, we can see the div ID equal to content. So I'll start writing one simple, maybe a CSS selector. We can use that div ID equal to content. And then under this div, we have one div class equal to row. So I can just simply write where div class equal to row is there. So div dot row. This is actually representing and giving you one of one element. <clears throat> so I can use this particular CSS selector. So I'll do one thing exactly same thing. I'm going to use it here. I'll just copy this guy and uh, replace this particular CSS over here. Cut it and uh, paste it over here. And I'm giving the new name here. This is let's see. What do you say? The featured product. So I'm saying Let's see featured.png file. 
okay so let's see this is also working or not so i'm going to run it again so right click on it run as java application four screenshots should be taken and uh, let's see okay so let's uh, refresh this project and now you can see that feature.png let's see nice this is so awesome so nice see only the screenshot of this entire uh, product is stripped horizontally only for that particular div it taken the screenshot that's so amazing this is what you can do that perfect so this is how we take the screenshot guys and uh, yeah so one more small thing if you really want to take the screenshot in the buffer just like we do it in selenium if you remember that whenever you have to pass the screenshot in the form of a byte array that you want to store it and then you really want to move it to the uh, and supply it to the jenkins or because in jenkins it won't understand in the form of dot png if you really want to store in the form of a byte 64 array that also you can simply do that so what we just need to do just simple write page dot screenshot and see is giving you the byte array that also you can take it it will take the screenshot and it will return the byte array so you simple write the store inside the byte array is equal to this so it will take the screenshot and that image will be stored inside the in the form of byte array and then you can supply the same byte array uh, used in jenkins or somewhere else and then it will show that screenshot over here with the help of base 64 so that maybe we can do it later when we use start using in uh, in jenkins later on i'll tell you about this okay so you can experiment these four or five things and let me know if you have any issues with that that's all for this particular video i hope you liked it if you're liking this playwright with java series guide it was helping you to learn this particular tool please please subscribe to the channel share this series with others playwright is amazing tool and uh, i'm pretty much sure it will make a lot of noise in the market in future thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all